Okay, hello everyone! So this is the first video in a new series that I'm trying to start showing bits around my Japanese school that may or may not be somewhat different from the schools you're used to. Um, just for starters, like, this is an elementary school, so don't expect all schools to necessarily look just like this, especially at the higher levels. Uh, let's see, let's start over here with the non-fiction. So as you can see, some of these look more boring than others. Uh, for example, this series is a series of visual uh, encyclopedias, effectively. Like, let's take Uchu, or space. Let's take that one out. So as you can see, plenty of pictures, plenty of diagrams. We had stuff like this back when I was a kid. So yeah, hella tons of stuff. Let's see, moving on. A lot of these look a little bit more boring. This is like the Asahi Junior Encyclopedia. So this is actually slightly more legit. This is closer to like the children's version of Encyclopedia Britannica that you might see. And yep, as I thought. This is way more boring looking. I would not want to read this. Let's see, moving on. We're still in the nonfiction section, but this is a series that I think is really cool. Um, it goes through, like, it's like a manga series of all sorts of famous people from, like, around the world. So there's Newton, there's Leonardo da Vinci, there's um, Anne Frank, there's Mother Teresa, Abraham Lincoln, and Kennedy, Mozart. So, like, if you look, let's get Mozart. So, yeah, if you look, it's like this full-on like, manga series of Mozart's life. It's pretty, it's pretty good. But I've actually, I've seen students reading this, so this actually looks popular. So you've got more, like, this is the new Nihon no Rekishi. There's the older version, which is up here, which seems to have a lot more in its series. But this is, like, the exact same thing as that, except for, obviously, Japanese history. And it looks a whole lot like Three Kingdoms, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this just makes me think I'm reading Three Kingdoms. I've not seen anyone reading this series, though. Oh, let's see, these all look boring. These all look boring. These all look boring. More boringness. More boringness. More boringness. More boringness. Over here, we've got, like, science journals for kids. And then a lot more boringness. Um, here's, like, let's use the internet. This looks old. This looks painful. How to use a CD-ROM software. Oh, this isn't teaching me how to use 2chan. I don't know what to do. Yeah, here's... In case people were wondering, this is what a Japanese keyboard looks like. There's a couple notable differences. Like, the one that throws me off is the at key is over here. And that's just really annoying to me. Let's see, more random stuff, more random stuff, more random stuff, more random stuff. Gafuru? Um, over here, you start getting into the non-fiction, or sorry, the fiction, like, you know, for fun books. Um, see if I can find any that I recognize. Because I do watch my students read some of these. Uh, where is it? I thought I just... What's this one? That character looks familiar. Magikaru Shou... Shoujo... Reina. Don't know it. Magical Girl Reina is what that one was called. Well, oh, here's one I know. A bunch of students read this one. It's called Little Jenny. This is what? Time to Rubble. Yeah, this one seems pretty popular among young girls. I don't know this one. The Edge Chronicles. Anyone online know these? Are these just like a translation from another country? They look like they could be. Um, what's this? I know Cupid. Are you... Ah! You're probably a light novel that I just tried to destroy. Yep, you're a light novel. So yeah, you're not going to find a bunch of, like, straight comics. 
in the school libraries, uh, you'll find a lot of light novels. Like, my high school actually had the entire series of Kino's Journey. That was pretty cool. Hmm. These all... These all look like random stories and light novels. How about you guys? You guys still light novels? Yep. You also don't look that good. This one looks like it could be good. But then it's called IQ and I like the design of the girl, so... Of course, if I was caught reading this, probably get stared at a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. More books. More books. More random books. What is this? Destoran. <laughs> Looks like a series. Oh, I know what I can show you guys. So this is what Japanese Harry Potter looks like. So as you can see, this one's called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So we're keeping the British titles. I don't know if this is the British artwork or not. But yeah. Um, here from the first, we keep the same chapter titles. And as you can see, there's some furigana for you guys, if you're interested in picking up a copy. Yeah, they're actually, like, especially when you get to the later ones, like the Half-Blood Prince, you can see the difference that, like, these are a lot smaller because of the kanji. I've also got this cute little bookmark, which I like. Okay. So, what else have we got? As you can see, our decorations are stuff like, got a bunch of these geometric shapes. Over there, we've got the stuff to make more. Um, you can write letters to the school library. Or you can also, we've got like this super old punch card system still, where like the students have a punch card and it has the name of the book that they checked out. It's pretty intense. Okay, over here we've got like some magazines and periodicals. Like we've got the Japanese version of Newton, got a couple of other random ones. What is this? Oh, Rail fan for the train otakus. That's a big thing here. Um, and then over here, we have an absolute colossal mess. But anyway, hope this was interesting for you guys and that you learned something. Uh, final word. This is the Japanese word for library. To, sho, kan. So this one you see a lot in the words like map. Uh, this one is the word for writings. And this last one is the word for room. Okay, so thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it.